In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the basics of a walk around collecting game. The android walks around and as he walks into the cans they disappear and the score is increased. The starting point for the tutorial is you can use this file which I will put on my website or you can follow my tutorials. You need a rigged android model with the arrow keys moving it back and forth and rotating it left and right. First thing I'm going to do is bring in the Coke can. So I'm going to go into the default layout. This needs tidying up a bit. Put this back to a properties window. Uh, file a pen to bring an object in. Find the Blender file that contains the model. And when you click it, you go inside the Blender file, go to the object folder and find your object. I'm going to use the 3D green arrow of the 3D manipulator widget to move that can in front of the Android. And I'm going to use the X axis as the ground plane. So I'm going to use the blue arrow to move the can up. And I'm going to turn textured shading on and go back to the game logic view. I'm going to turn the shader to textured and I'm going to start the game. I'm going to move the Android forward and when he hits the can, the can doesn't disappear and the score isn't incremented so we need to set that up. We need to add logic bricks to the Coke can. Make sure only the Coke can is selected. I'm zooming in a bit with the mouse wheel and adjusting this to make it a bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to add a near sensor, uh, an AND gate, and a message actuator. The subject of the message will be score add one, and I'm going to add another actuator, an edit object actuator, and the type of edit will be to end the object. I'm going to connect those up and play the game, start the game, move the Android forward and as it hits the can nothing happens. Nothing happened because for the near sensor to detect an object the object must have some physics properties the minimum physics properties it must have is it must be an actor and collision bounds must be set. Now if I start the game and move the Android forward, the can disappears but we have to sort out the score. We need to add a property to an object to store the score. We could use an existing object, but normal practice is to add an empty object. And now I can add a property to it. I'll call that property score. And I'll make it of type integer, whole number. And if you click this button, the property will be displayed in the debug area which is the top left hand corner of the screen provided we go into the game menu and show debug properties. With the empty selected I'm going to go to the properties window and rename the empty game. Game.score looks better than empty.score. I'm going to change the layout to default I'm going to toggle quad view and set the view to top. I'm going to pan shift middle mouse button, make, uh, select the can and do shift and D to duplicate it. Put the duplicate there. I'm going to do shift and D again to duplicate the duplicate. And then I'm going to go back to game logic layout and start the game and as I go forward and hit the first can my score goes up to one as I hit the second can it goes up to two and as I hit the third can it goes up to three that's the end of this tutorial 
I'll put the start file and the end file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to get the camera to follow the Android and I'll set up a bird's eye view camera and I'll show you how to switch between the two. Thanks for watching and goodbye.